Founded in 1817, the American School for the Deaf was the first school for the deaf in the nation and became a springboard for deaf educators to start other schools across the country, including Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C. Today, ASD serves more than 475 students per year and since 2007 has graduated approximately 150 students, 28 of whom were accepted to college. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at the Kent McRae Television Studio at the University of Hartford. Jeff Braven, Executive Director of the American School for the Deaf, joins me with his sign language interpreter, Janice Knaut. Jeff, welcome to the program. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here today. I also have to say congratulations because while you've been with the school for 12 years, you were just picked as Executive Director. Congratulations. Yes, and it's a real honor and a pleasure. So what are your plans for the future of the school? ASD, as I said, has been here since 1817. It's the first school in America, and I'm hoping that moving forward we'll be able to continue the good work that we have been doing. We just had established our new building, state-of-the-art education facility, and we'll be celebrating our 200th anniversary in three years. So there's a lot of very exciting things happening, and we're hoping to draw more students and more families and teach them how to best educate their child. We'll be focusing on early intervention and how we can help the families help their child acquire communication and literacy. Also, we're looking at the deaf children that are all over the state and where parents, of course, would like to keep them close to home. How can we best reach out to those children? Maybe by establishing some charter schools without the within the state and the country. And then when they're older, they could come to the American School for the Deaf. But we need to look also at research and about the good work we could do, we do, and how we can spread that to other schools in America. As a deaf person yourself, do you think that has an impact on your students, and what kind of impact if you see some? Okay. Certainly, because often deaf children are born, and they're the only deaf child in the family. They don't meet deaf role models or deaf individuals. So I'm hoping when they come to the American School for the Deaf, they'll see a deaf person as the executive director of the school which shows them that deaf people can succeed. And I'll be bringing in other deaf successful people, lawyers, politicians, so that they can see that a deaf person doesn't just jump to the top, right. but they have to work their way up the ladder. I stopped, started at McDonald's cleaning tables, and I've worked my way up. And they need to see and be assertive and know that with their education that they can move up and become a successful mm. leader and a productive citizen. What challenges do you see facing the school as, the, uh, as you go into your future? There are two challenges that I think are critical. One is the advancement of technology with the cochlear implants that many of our students have. Often the medical community encourages them to be fully mainstream with an oral, oral education. And I've seen some children that have succeeded but some have failed. So what I think they need to do is to make sure that the child receives the appropriate language and communication access. So when they come to our school, we can provide both sign language plus the oral, oral needs. And if they can succeed orally, that's fine. But sometimes it doesn't. But they will have their sign language to fall back on. And that would be their mode of communication, such as I'm using today. Secondly the early intervention. Families often do not know what to do with their deaf of hard of hearing child. So we need to intervene, provide support to the family, bring them to the school, let them meet other families, and learn how to best educate their deaf or hard of hearing child mm -hmm. so that they can grow up and become productive mm -hmm. citizens and be like any other deaf individual in America. Thank you so much for joining us here. Jeff Raven, Executive Director of the American School for the Deaf. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. And thank you for joining us here for Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Nathan O'Leary.